how to integrate Asana with Google Sheets. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with your integration on Asana to Google Sheets. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, I can't find any direct integration where I can link Google Sheets to Asana. And I use all of my documentation process on Google Sheets because Google Sheets is an amazing platform for anyone that is trying to manage their expenses, manage their business. And you might have already been using Google Sheets for a long time and you might have just started using Asana as your project management or task management software and now you want to import the data from here and you don't want to just import data but you want a constant integration where your data would automatically be upgraded on both of these platforms but there is no integration if we go on to Asana over here uh, we can integrate diff different little power-ups into Asana and but we still cannot find anything where we would actually be able to link Google Sheets. Well, don't worry, there are great, amazing things you can still do, and there are great, amazing platforms out there like Zapier, which will enable you to integrate Google Sheets to Asana for free. So, to get started, you're just going to go into your Asana account, log into your Google account, and log into your Asana account. I just like to log into both of those just to make the Zapier integration shorter and easier. Now, what is Zapier? How do you get started with Zapier? Zapier is a online platform that enables you to integrate different platforms together. Even if there are no local or direct integrations available, Zapier will allow you to automate different functions on both of your platforms with their integration. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to sign up for Zapier. It's a simple sign up process. All you have to do is go on to zapier.com, enter your email address or continue with Google and your account will be created. And you can do all of this for free. Free. So once you've done that, this is going to be your dashboard. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go and click on your left over here and you're going to click on my apps over here. Once you click on my apps, this will lead you to your app section. And then you're just going to search for the apps that you want to integrate. So I have selected Asana from over here. We can just click on add connection once more just to show you guys how to do it. You're just going to click on add connection. You're going to search for Asana and you're going to add your connection. So now I've linked Asana over here and then I'm going to go back into my apps. And you can see I have Google Sheets linked over here as well. And then you can also click on add connection. You're just going to search for both of these applications that are readily available. You're going to choose the account that you are using to store your Google Sheets, whatever account you want to link. Just like that, you're going to click on allow over here. And now you can see a new connection has been added. So just like that, you've added both of these little platforms onto your Zapier account. Now, once you have added these to your Zapier account, you can now easily automate different functions and create a more streamlined workflow. So how you're going to do that is you can either choose to click on your dashboard over here and choose on create your own workflow, or you can click on create Zap on the top left over here, this orange button over here, and you can start creating your Zaps. So Zaps are basically the automations that can be triggered so you can choose your first app and I'm going to select Asana from here. And then let's say whenever a new project is created, I'm going to click on continue. And I'm going to choose my Asana account that I want to link continue and then I can choose the value over here. And then you can also choose to test your trigger. I can just click on testing over here. And now just like that, I want to have like a simple little trigger set up. So whenever a new project in Asana is created, you're just gonna scroll down over here, you're gonna add your action. So I want the action in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna click on Google Sheets over here. Then you can choose an event in Google Sheets where whenever a new project is created, I want to create maybe a new worksheet and continue. And I'm gonna choose my Google account from over here. And then I'm just going to wait for this to be continued. And then I'm going to click on continue over here. And then you can choose the specific values you might want to add. So what is the, going to be the title of the spreadsheet that is created? So I'm just going to name this is a peer sample. And then you can insert specific headers as well. And then you can choose to override it as well. So if there is a specific title that is already created within your Google or within your Asana workspace or Google workspace, you want it to be over. And so I want it to be overwritten over here. And then I'm just going to select all of this. And I'm just going to skip this testing for here. And I can just click on publish snap and click on publish and turn on. And now my zap is being published. So we can see I have an error, which is 
the rate limit exceeded. So I already have created like a lot of different dApps over here. So I would have to remove some of the previous ones. Uh, that is how simple and easy it is to create a integration between both of your applications. So I'm just going to click on discard draft over here. And right now I'm going to show you guys another method that you can use to create a integration with Asana and Google Sheets is that you can go into your dashboard over here and then you can choose to connect these two apps. So first off, I'm going to search for uh, Google Sheets this time, and then I'm going to link Asana. So the trigger function will be for Google Sheets and the trigger that I want to create in Google Sheets. When a new spreadsheet is created, then I want to create a project. On Asana. So just like that, I've set up a simple integration. This method is a lot simpler for a lot of people. So you can get started with this method to simplify your automation process and then later on create a more complicated integration. So you can click on next over here to then reach the actual Zapier integration form and where you can customize your SAP. And just like that, you're just going to choose which account you want to be connecting to in these integrations. We're just going to continue. Then you're going to choose the drive where your spreadsheet sheet resides and we're just going to collect data from spreadsheet and obviously I haven't created any kind of basic account sheets that's why it's empty and that is why it is not going to actually be able to create the integration that easily because I don't have any drive files at all that is how simple and easy it's going to be for you guys now you can create this and automate many different functions although this is not going to be a super super easy integration like let's say for example if you create a task over here you can get a new column on google sheets or if you create a specific meeting agenda or anything like that you can add a google worksheet update as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video i would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our youtube channel i want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.